So first, let's unscrew this XPS. The screw used by this XPS is top T5. You need to leave the metal plate in the middle letter. I highly recommend you use a magnetic screwdriver so you can take out the screw easier letter. And I will place the screw relative to the position on how it is arranged. There are two more screws hidden beneath the metal plate, so lift it and use your Phillips screwdriver to unscrew it. Now you need to carefully remove the back panel. Use a cut or something to carefully pry it open. If you force it, you will break something, just like mine. For now, I don't need to pry it anymore. The CMOS battery is located above the hard disk drive below the Wi-Fi card. And as you can see, this inside the component of your Dell laptop. I'm not going to unscrew everything. Go at this red box. And make sure you place a screw relative to its position so it's easier to locate back. For me, I would like to unscrew my hard disk first, but for me, I didn't remove the ribbon. From my experience, you need to remove the screw holding the Wi Fi adapter. So please remove the screw first. Don't do it like the video shown by me. You must remove the screw at the top first, then only remove the bottom. Don't remove the bottom like this video. Because the soldering is very fragile, you need to do it very carefully. So remove the screw at the top first. As usual, arrange the screw neatly so you can screw it back so you don't forget where you place it. Afterwards, what you need to do next is removing the screw of the fan. And then you need to remove the screw of the heat sink. And don't place the heat sink on the table directly. You need to place it in somewhere safe because below the heat sink there's actually a thermal pest. That's why try to find a place that can hold the heat sink properly. Remove all the screw visible to you except the monitor screw that I highlighted in the beginning of the video telling you don't unscrew that. As you can see, after we remove the Wi-Fi adapter and also the fan and the heat sink, we can lift it up. And be careful of the hard disk, lift it up together so you don't break it. And also, there is one obstacle, which is the touchpad ribbon cable. We need to remove the touchpad ribbon cable so we can lift it up even higher. So we can change the CMOS battery with the new one. When you remove this touchpad ribbon cable, right, do not pull it in this direction using force because you will break it like in this picture what you need to do is lift the white plastic upwards so it can appear like this if somehow you break it you need to insert it back without the ribbon so that it can lift up like this again as you can see when I take out my CMOS battery and I disassemble it inside is shown its ML1220 model so when you purchase it Make sure you get this model and the wire length is about 3 cm. And one thing is don't throw away this head because you might want to use this head to replace it in case the one you bought doesn't fit. This actually called a slim and this is what the pin look like. Imagine this ruler as your Wi-Fi card right and as you can see this is the smooth surface right and in other side, this is the part with the golden wire. When you want to insert below the motherboard, you use the smooth surface like this. Imagine this is the motherboard, you insert below using the smooth surface like this. This process requires patience, so please do it gently, do it patiently. Please sit down comfortably. Screw everything back together and clip the ribbon. And then what you need to do is, when you first power on your laptop, hold the power button and force it shut down, then only turn it back on again. Your laptop will need some time to charge the CMOS battery. 